obviously uh, the changes that we have implemented for multiple myeloma patients during the COVID-19 pandemic are, in my opinion, going to have some impact over the long term, mid and long term. For instance, when it comes to telemedicine, I believe this is here to stay. And probably in the future, we will continue to practice telemedicine with these patients and avoid any unnecessary visit to the clinic or to the hospital. When it comes to the changes that we have implemented from a, a therapeutic a point of view, uh, let's say, for instance, uh, postponing or delaying autotransplant, I don't believe this will have an impact on the outcome of the patient or on their survival, because we already know that based on uh, clinical trials, that uh, this should not impact the survival of these patients. Obviously, uh, some patient would ask, well, if this has no impact on overall survival, uh, why should I undergo autotransplant? Well, uh, it's a very complicated question, and it has been a matter of debate within the myeloma uh, community and between experts. Nevertheless, we know that autotransplant has an advantage in terms of progression-free survival. So it allows to delay disease progression. So I think the recommendation today, although we can postpone or delay the uh, autotransplant procedure, I think the recommendation is to stick to the uh, application and delivering autotransplant for those patients who uh, are eligible. When it comes to other therapeutic changes like uh, dexamethasone dose reduction, uh, or for instance, switching to oral drugs, I think many of these changes will stay, uh, especially that they can have a positive impact on the quality of life of the patient and on reducing side effects. So this is really good news.